Welcome to the AJ Studios. Today we'll be demonstrating one of our favorite processes, hair marbling. Why do we love this process so much? Well, it's playful, it reinforces color mixing, and has instant wow factor. Paper marbling is a process that has a long, rich history in both Japan and Persia. In both traditions, ink is floated in layers on top of water or surfactant. Next, the marbler or artist cuts through the ink to create patterns. Once the artist is satisfied with their design, um, a sheet of paper is lightly dropped onto the surface. The paper permanently picks up the patterns of ink. There are some lovely resources and videos online that outline both the history and traditional approaches uh, to paper marbling that we will link to on our resource page. For our purposes here, we'll be using kitchen and studio friendly materials to create our marbling. The materials that you're going to need are any receptacle that has a lip. So in this case, I'm using a meat tray, shaving foam, inks if you've got them, food coloring is another option, a spatula if you've got it, some kind of tool. So this could be a pencil, a pencil crayon, a skewer, a toothpick, a comb, a fork, a flat edge surface that you can pull across your paper. And then you, finally you want some paper that fits the size of your container. All right, so once your materials are gathered, the first thing that you want to do is fill your tray with, with some of the foam. So feel free to give it a liberal amount. You want to be able to cover the whole surface of the tray. And you're just going to use your spatula to smooth everything out. Now that your tray is full, you're going to take either your inks or your food coloring and you're just going to drip. Some of that ink or food coloring onto the tray. And that can be in any way that you want. Next, you'll take your tool. So whether that's a skewer or a pencil crayon, and you're just going to cut through the ink and mix things up a little bit. So you can play around with color mixing, um, pattern making, whatever you like. Once you're happy with your design, the next step will be to take a piece of paper and just lay it gently on the surface, and then you're just going to smoosh it down a little. Okay, once you do that, you peel it back and it's going to look like this. The next step is to take your flat edge surface, so in this case I'm using a piece of cardboard, um, and you're just going to pull, pull it down and across and scrape that cream off and ta-da, like magic you have your paper marble. Finally, allow to dry. Frame it up. Add it to your art journal as either a cover page or the end pages. Layer drawings on top to bring out the pattern even more. Cut it up into a collage. Whatever you choose, this process is an afternoon of fun. Happy creating!